with Zoological Society of London. This is based in London, but we have a Philippine program. Ang akong position is Chief Mangrove Scientific Advisor of the ZSL, or as they say, ZSL. And then I'm with the IUCN, International Union for the Conservation of Nature. There's a mangrove specialist group. I used to be co-chair, but when I stepped down, I'm just a member of that one. That's Species Survival Commission of mga endangered species. And then, nagretire na ako sa ako ng active research in Sifdek Aquaculture Department, but now I'm also with I have some honorary memberships. And fellowships, for example, I have a Pew Fellowship in mangrove conservation from the Pew in Ocean Foundation in the USA. And then also I'm a member of the Philippine National Academy of Science and Technology, mm. NAST or NAST. The problem really is uh, political will. Because sometimes it's the local governments that support these uh, development initiatives because they see development, they see there will be malls or there will be some kind of businesses that will attract investors, that will pay taxes. So compared to if you just have mangroves, they don't see pesos and centavos in mangroves. But they see it if you reclaim it and you put a structure and then you have, you know, vehicles coming in and out, people moving. That is how they value no, uh, resources. So for me, ang kulang ana is um, how to disseminate the information that if you have mangroves here, you have the fisheries function. No? Kini sila nurseries, kini sila sa mga offshore fish. You have, they regulate uh, water quality. They prevent floods. Uh, they regulate, uh, they prevent coastal erosion. And of course, pinaka important right now is the coastal protection from uh, storms. Because in the Philippines, we have 20 on the average typhoons a year. You now, with, with climate change, mukusung pa ni ang mga typhoon, increasing intensity. Way back in the 70s, na ano ang information? Here is the water cycle, no? The trees, the forest, oh, the roots. Basic and, science. Oh, it's it's very basic. Na ano na siya, but nobody really paid attention. Now, with mangroves sa Hayan nga, Type 60, Hayan, they say 6,000 6, died and so many. You go to ano? You go to Tacloban. When I went there in January, yun nila mga 10,000. When I went there in March, mga kinsi, kinsi mil, tanan tanan. And then when they drain that bay, murag ng ubus sa dito mga lawas sa kita nila ng kwan. So it's more like fifteen thousand. Oh, just because si President Pino is at six thousand, halag dito na sila ni Pilit sa sa ano sa six thousand. So that's ano ano when when that happened, people you know stood to notice and said, eh importante ba ini? But that's the coastline ng trees. Ang ang upland na apod kaya nga no kung wala yung trees ang baha. Ang baha ni mo, you have, and then the rivers, and so that's what's happening. Ang photosynthesis no, uses up carbon. You take carbon dioxide with the energy of the sun, and you make more organic matter. That's uh -huh. the plants, uh -huh. that's the tree, that's the forest, okay? So the more forests you have, the more trees, the more carbon is captured mm. from the atmosphere that will reduce global warming. Forests of all kinds do that because they have trees. You have from the from the poles, no, to the temperate forest, to the tropical rainforest, and to the mangroves. Mangroves are tropical forests because um I know um they need warm water temperatures and you get that in the tropics of course you don't get that in the temperate zone mm -hmm. so you don't have mangroves so mangroves are tropical now the reason that they have more carbon that they capture carbon faster than other forests is because 
they uh, produce peat. Peat. Mm-hmm. Kaya sa peat, that's organic matter, nga wala yung decomposition because there's no oxygen no? down in the sediments. There's no oxygen, there's no oxidation, so basically the organic matter remains as is. And organic matter is mostly carbon, carbon compounds. So, captured siya, na-trap siya dito. Now, one thing we should know when we say that mangroves capture or sequester carbon at four to five times the rate of tropical rainforest, temperate forest, or sa padina, is that there are different kinds of mangroves. We have mangroves along the coastline, those are fringing mangroves. We have mangroves sa sulod, those are basin mangroves. And actually, it's the mangroves sa sulod nga wala kaayoy um, exchange ba water exchange wala kaayoy uh, tidal flow the swamp the yeah swamp it's area. there it's the swamp area where you have the carbon that lies untouched and captured and safe you know it keeps the atmosphere safe from harm kay na ang carbon. carbon sink na yes ito. it's correct that's a carbon sink uh, Ang akong background for a long time, no? 37 years in fact, was aquaculture research. So, fish ponds, fish ponds. brackish water culture ponds. And then, I came to realize, I had this awakening sa mangroves, no? Na, alkansima din yung mga mangroves. And then, the more I read, na ako nga, pwede ba ni sila mag-coexist? And, the last, 10, 5, 10 years, I have been espousing the 4 to 1 ratio. Nga, you can have fish ponds, but you keep it at a ratio of 4 mangroves to 1 fish pond. So, ang fish pond, you can still get uh, food, no? Aquatic products, mga bangos, but you keep 4 hectares, let's say, of mangroves. So, all the other uh, services will continue from mangroves, the cost of protection, the uh, water quality, the flood regulation, erosion control, and the products. And I, what I can see is, kulang yun ang atong information dissemination because how come it allows BIFAR to say, ay, hindi pwede yung fish pan galawin kasi food security natin yan. So kung fish pan, food security. Bakit yung mangroves, hindi ba siya food security? In fact, food security ang mangroves because they are nurseries, no? fish nurseries. So, ang small-scale fisheries din ha. Din ha sila galipen sa mangroves. Without the nurseries, you will not get some fish species. Not only small-scale uh, fisheries, but also other fisheries. There are other, ano mga kwan? Uh, ay, they call it snapper, mm-hmm. mangrove snapper, mangagat, pangagat ang tawag din eh. Um, uh, some big fish, they have their nurseries in mangroves, no? To me, the failure is the failure of information dissemination. Because how come we are able to, we allow far to say, oops, food security can have fish run. And we are not able to, to rebut that and say, Bakit? Yung mangroves, food security din ah. Bakit fish pan lang ba?